Hello everybody. In today's video, I'll show you how to do style matching on the AI canvas for Leonardo AI. If you don't have a Leonardo AI account yet, I recommend you to go to my playlist called Leonardo AI. I already have a video on the AI canvas, which I have published a few weeks ago. And I consider this video today a slightly more advanced version of the AI canvas video. So if you haven't already, make sure to watch some of the videos in this playlist. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you to go to my playlist section to find the videos that are relevant to you. All right, let's get started. So one thing I wanted to mention, which I just saw on the Leonardo AI homepage is that they have updated their category section. Now they put game assets as one category and everything else as a different category. So they're really trying to focus on making Leonardo AI a game asset focused AI tool versus portraits or landscapes or anything else. So they're really trying to go in a different direction than say Mid Journey. So if you're trying to check if Leonardo AI can generate photorealistic pictures like Mid Journey does, I don't think it's meant for that. So what I think is it's really trying to focus on non photorealistic pictures, like something you would see on a video game like this. So I would recommend everybody going forward not to compare Midjourney and Leonardo AI because they're meant for different things. Okay, let's get to the point of today's video. In my AI Canvas video, I showed how you can extend this scene around this character by moving your grid around and adding more information using this prompt section. However, the issue was that sometimes what you generated did not match this picture. You're going to see that a lot of times the images that the canvas generates might not match the main picture. So today I'm going to give you a strategy to avoid this. For today's demonstration, I'm going to use two pictures. One of them is by Rintal. This is a sticker of an Artemis from DC Comic. And another one by Nomer Dona is an ink painting of a Vietnamese superheroine. I could have of course generated my own prompts previously, but as you know, most of my videos include live testing of my ideas to show if something does not work. So the first thing I'm going to do is to keep this main prompt aside. Let me keep this in this text document and let's keep the second one here. All right. Now I'm going to do a remix of this generation. If you don't know what remixing means, come to my video called Image Remixing in my Playground AI playlist. I'm going to do four generations, but I'm changing my model to Stable Diffusion 1.5 because currently the AI canvas only supports Stable Diffusion 1.5 and 2.1. All right, I have four generations. I'm going to proceed with this one. The first step I'm going to do here is to a creative upscale. All right, I have my upscaled image. Now I'm going to open this in my canvas. So I'm going to move my grid all the way on the top. And I'm going to request some birds, just like the ones here. I don't know if they're birds or dragons, but that's what I'm going to request. And I'm going to do two generations of those birds. So as you see, these birds have nothing to do with this image. They look super mismatched. This looks like a watercolor painting of some sort, and this is like a comic strip. So I'm going to cancel this. And this time, I'm going to do something else to the prompt. I'm going to go back to my original prompt, which I copied here, and find what I can use here to match the style. I see I have digital illustration. Let's copy that. Go to here. It's going to find comic style. Copy that, put it here. And I find art by Carney Griffiths and Vasim. Put that here too. I'm gonna do the same generation now with more prompts added, which can tell the AI canvas what style I would like to have. And let's do four generations this time. All right, as you see, the style changed quite a bit. You're gonna see that this is actually not that mismatched anymore. But of course, they don't look like the birds you would see in a photorealistic picture because this is not a photorealistic picture. This is a comic strip. So the birds mentioned here too, they don't look like photorealistic birds. They should not be. This looks like some kind of an art form or bird feathers used in her crown. And I think this matches this image quite a bit more than what we just saw a few minutes ago. So my point is, if you want to expand your scene using the AI canvas, there's two things I recommend. 
first make sure you have the correct model. So if your original image was generated using a wildly different model and you're trying to do your generations in Stable Diffusion 1.5, there might be a mismatch. Also, if you don't mention all the artistic styles that the canvas should be producing, it's gonna get confused and throw out random images. Now here I placed three different things to add to the style as I generate more images in the canvas. You can experiment by adding one or adding two or three or even more. So eventually you're gonna reach the correct combination of styles which would make any additions on the canvas proper. I'm going to quickly complete this image before I proceed. So I'm going to generate four more images with the same art style and click generate. As you see, it's doing a much better job at keeping up with the whole style of the image because I mentioned what I need. I'm going to keep the second one this time and move the canvas here. Do the same generation. All right. It created this branch in the background, which is kind of cool because it matches the rest of the style of the image it didn't generate random realistic or watercolor like birds i'm going to keep this massive owlish thing i think there's an owl here i'm going to keep that and download this image so as you see the style is fairly consistent all over the picture so let's go to this one this is a vietnamese super heroine i'm going to do a remix on this one as well I'm going to keep my model to Stable Diffusion 1.5 again. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to first upscale it before I proceed. I'm going to open this in the canvas. But this time I'm going to move the grid right here. And I'm going to say dress. And I'm first going to mention nothing else to see if it fails. Oh wow, actually it did not fail even without mentioning anything else here. It managed to cover the rest of the dress but I want to make sure to add more details to my prompt here so I'm going to go back to my original prompt and find what stylistic components I can reuse so I can say ink drawing I'm going to say art by Carney Griffiths and Basim again digital illustration comic style and Vietnamese pattern background and generate four images with all my details okay this live testing actually reveals something else so this time I think there's too much information here because like I mentioned you need to play around with how much details you need to provide the right amount of information because here I feel like it got too much information and got too detailed and it did not match the background as well I think here just ink drawing should be enough really I think that was just enough information for me to complete this stress without overloading it with information and messing it up like you just saw. I think I like the second one the most. So I'm going to click accept. I'm going to move my grid right here and complete the image. Doing a much better job now. I think I'm going to keep my first one and click accept move my grid right here perfectly done again i think i like the third one the most so i'm going to click accept now we have the lower half which was completed using the ai canvas using specific information on my prompt so it did not give me something like a realistic dress because this is not a realistic picture this is an ink drawing so if it gave me a real dress here like a big red dress it would be incorrect and would not match the style of what i need i think overall from a distance this looks really good nothing looks mismatched there might be some issues with the details here but actually not really i think i'm pretty happy with this picture this looks like an artistic rendering of a vietnamese superheroine and I'm very happy with this result. So I hope you understand what to do and what not to do when you're trying to expand the scene using the AI canvas because both too little and too much sometimes can mess up your images. And I think that's all I have for you. I hope you got some value from that video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.